Hello guys, Soft Tony here, welcome to another video lesson and in this today's tutorial I'll be taking you on a journey into the world of After Effects where we'll create an impressive wave background. Join me as we explore the step-by-step -step process of crafting and captivating effect that will add a dynamic and visually stunning element to your project. Get ready to unleash your creativity and make a splash with this incredible wave background tutorial. So, without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started! Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create a new composition. Hit uh, this little icon here or Ctrl and on your keyboard for the composition name I will do Final. But of course you can type your own text for width and height we will do full hd 1920 by 1080 30 frames per second and duration it's up to you but i will maybe do a 10 seconds hit okay and now let's create a solid a solid layer right click find here new and to create solid layer we will rename it background hit ok and now it's time to add our first effect go here in the facts and preset and if you can't find it go on window and just uh, left click here effects and preset go here and then type ramp effect drag and drop onto our background and uh, like usual we're going to make a few adjustments for the start of ramp go upper left corner for end of the ramp lower right corner and now it's time to uh, select our colors for this particular tutorial we will do this uh, maybe ocean blue color for the first one and for the second one you can also use eyedropper like this and then just readjust it to darker blue colors like so okay now let's create another solid layer here uh, in our final comp right click uh, find here new uh, click uh, solid layer and we will rename it venetian blinds hit ok and uh, it's time to add a venetian blinds effect here in the facts and preset type venetian blinds drag and drop onto our solid layer and of course uh, another effect that we're going to uh, use is uh, fill effect drag and drop ok move it above our venetian blinds effect for the color choose dark darker blue color like this hit ok and for the Venetian blinds for transition completion go to around 90 and for the direction maybe around 35 okay our next effect that we're going to use is turbulent displays hit here turbulent displays drag and drop onto our Venetian blinds effect and here we're going to animate our evolution hit alt on this uh, little stopwatch of uh, evolution and type here time asterisk 50 and now when we hit zero we have this cool movement of uh, our waves okay uh, now it's time to duplicate this venetian blinds effect once again hit ctrl plus d or go edit and uh, duplicate and uh, we're going to change this uh, venetian blinds transition completion uh, type here 55 also here we will add a glow effect Go again here in the facts and preset, type glow, drag and drop onto our uh, first Venetian blind effect. And as you can see, we have this uh, kind of contrast here in our final comp. Also, we can rename this Venetian blinds to Venetian blinds 01. And this first one is going to be Venetian blinds 02. Okay. Uh, for the blending modes of this Venetian blind so 2 let's change it to overlay and our next step is to create uh, adjustment layer here in our final comp right click go to new find here adjustment layer and we will rename it to embass like so and then uh, go again here in our effects and preset and find embass effect drag and drop onto our adjustment layer and uh, now it's time to also make a few adjustments for the direction leave it to 45 degrees uh, for the relief uh, go to around 30 and for the contrast type uh, 110 also for the blending mode uh, find here overlay 
and as you can see our waves are looking so cool and this is looking really really awesome all right uh, our next effect is going to be uh, lens flare go again right click here find here uh, also adjustment layer again uh, we will rename it to lens flare okay find here in the facts and preset the same effect lens flare drag and drop onto our adjustment layer okay for the uh, lens type instead of this first one change uh, to this uh, third one and for the flare center do like this this is looking really cool you can blend this with original um, our waves if you want it's everything up to you like this also hit ctrl plus d to duplicate this once again and for the flare center do the opposite like so and now this is looking really cool also let's create another uh, adjustment layer right click find adjustment layer move it uh, in the middle here uh, of emboss and lens flare we will rename it to curves okay go into facts and prism find curves effect drag and drop onto our uh, adjustment layer uh, for the channel instead of rgb find here blue and uh, move it slightly to the left to maybe lighten our scene like so what we can do is to add uh, another curves effect like this and now we will leave this rgb channel and to maybe do this kind of color correction and for the end what we can do uh, also is to grab uh, our first uh, three solid layers hit s for scaling type here 107 like this just to prevent uh, those edge bendings and now when we hit zero in our finals we have this really really cool uh, wave movement okay also if you want faster movement just hit on venetian blinds 01 then hit f3 to show our effects control also hit here a w instead of this time asterisk 50 type higher number like 100 or whatever you want also the same procedure here in Venetian blinds 02. All right guys, uh, when we hit zero, as you can see, our animation is looking really cool and really awesome and really creative. All right, uh, that was everything for today's tutorial. Hope you enjoyed guys. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Also consider to subscribe to my channel. Please take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials. Also turn on the bell icon so you can always get a notification whenever I post a new clip. Until next time, stay creative and bye bye.